It is September and it's time for our real estate market update. And you know me, I always do it at some really cool places. Today we are at Chuck Groves. It's a grove and a farm that has been around since 1950. And they really have four venues here that are really kind of cool. So right behind me here, you see uh, it's a working orange grove. Uh, they got tangerines and oranges, a couple of things. And they also have their own packing house there. The first thing you're actually going to see when you come in here is their uh, farm store. It's like a place where local farmers can display their product and it's for sale here as well. And lastly, they have what's called Pavilion at the Lake. It's really open to the public uh, for, during season, November to April. And it's a really, really popular destination for an event called Farm to Table. If you're here during this time, you need to check that out. That's actually a really cool setting once you get here. And if you're lucky, you see Alvigator and Rosie's a spoon, but I guess they've taken off today. Uh, most of you probably don't know, but I actually went to school for agriculture in Germany and I spent close to eight years working and living on farms all across Europe. So whenever I get into this environment, I kind of feel at home. Speaking about home, so let's actually get to the real estate market. Last month, we've seen a really continuation from the months before, which means Activity has really picked up, not only compared to earlier this year, but also compared to last year. And uh, inventory is tightening a little bit. Now that's a fancy term, it really means that you have less homes on the market than before, but it kind of uh, changes on a weekly basis. Because of the low interest rates, buyers are coming out, inventory gets low, the number of homes uh, is reduced a little bit. And then the next week, uh, any potential seller will see that and will make the decision to uh, Bring, it, bring his home on the market. So it's a little bit of a seesaw effect. And a couple of big sites also have uh, up their forecast for the year. So it's really, it's tilting a little bit more towards the seller's market right now. So hopefully that helps. In the meantime, I'm gonna look for Alan Rose. 